Hi there, this is Dakas Channel and in this video you're going to do a review on this 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire Station Wagon made in 1 to 18 scale by Artisan Coming Light. So let's unbox this beauty and take a better look. 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire Station Wagon made by Greenlight in the 1 to 18 scale, made with very good quality detail and painting. The wood grain pattern is also very well reproduced, and logos are all made in photo etched. One curious fact about the station wagon is it's got different mirrors on the driver's and passenger's door. I don't know exactly why they've made that way. I'm a big fan of American cars and I really like those big station wagons from the 1960s, 70s and 80s. I like the way Greenlight has made the chromes, the wheels and tires, the wood grain pattern, headlights and taillights. Although Teal Lights has got some pics. The front of the LTD station wagon with the Ford logo on the driver's side of a grill, which is actually not a real grill but a mesh with that mocks the real one very well. Front bumper is very well made. The lights are very realistic. Linkers are very realistic. The lines of the car are very nice. And the hood looks like an opening hood, but unfortunately has not opened. One very curious fact about the station wagon is a different side view mirrors on the doors. I, I don't know why, but we have one that seems to be the correct one on the left door and the other one that seems to be the wrong one on the right door. I don't know why Greenlight has done that. It looks weird. Artisan line has very nice models, but still has a lot of improvement. One of my favorite references is this 1903-1990 Ford catalog. It's got all products made by Ford in its division. 1979 Country Squire with the correct mirror, just like we have in a model car on a driver's door. For 1980, there was almost no change. Same mirror on the driver's door. We don't have a picture of another station wagon, but we have of an LTD with the same mirror on the passenger door. So we can notice that 1991 station wagon, it's a new mirror for 991 on. So driver's door mirror for this model car is correct and the passenger door's mirror is wrong. The interior of the car that looks very nice with this very classic design steering wheel, horizontal speedo, the air outlets on the dashboard and the wood grain pattern as we had a real car. Those doors with windows look very nice. The only issue is they are a nightmare to open. Rear doors unfortunately do not open. The car really looks very nice and the wood grain pattern on the doors looks also very nice and realistic. Door shuts correctly and it's very well aligned. Passenger side, very nice looking dashboard, a wood grain pattern, door panels, headliner which is present in this model car. Artisan cars are usually very nice in their interiors. Some more details of the interior, door panels, front and rear, and the luggage compartment. That looks very nice. The rear end of the station wagon with one of the two tailgates open and possibilities. It could open sideways or it could tilt like pickup trucks. Perhaps it would be a little bit too difficult for ring light to reproduce the two options but it's fine it's okay to this intermediate quality model car this car also had those side compartments for small objects and it could have an extra row of seats this would be a very nice car for a family to load the luggage in and take a trip i really wouldn't trade a station wagon like that for an any suv the rear door shuts correctly the lights are made in acrylic the wood grain pattern is also very well simulated license plate and the rear bumper. This window could roll down and be cleaned by the rubber seals in the tailgate. There's also a roof luggage rack. It was optional for those station wagons. Ford logo is made in photo etched and it's very well made. Lock is cast in metal and the handle is an extra part. Now looking at the bottom we can see the green light artisan. The carriage should be much better. It's got a lot of room for improvement. It has almost no details. The engine is slightly mocked by a blue color aluminum transmission muffler which seems to be a little bit too thin. Perhaps it should be a little thicker. Rear suspension is slightly represented here. Besides the front wheels do not steer. Good green light make a better undercarriage. Yes, it could. We saw this in some different 1 to 18 green light lines and in the station wagons sun, I would say, which is the 1 to 64 I've shown previously in this exactly the same color. As we look at the two undercarriages, we can see that the 1 to 64 and the 1 to 18 have 
almost the same pattern, but 1-18 is made of plastic, which is a much easier material to make better details. The 1-64 is made in metal, which is more difficult. So there's a lot of room for improvement in the 1-18 model car. Still, it's a very nice and attractive model car. A 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire station wagon. In this case, we have both the 118 and the 1 to 64 model. They're made in the same color, the same year, the same pattern, the same interior, all the same details. So we can notice how well made is the 1 to 64 version. And although the 1 to 18 version is also well made, being an artisan line always has some room for improvements. The car itself looks very nice, and the station wagon looks great. Ford Country Squire Squire had a very long life in the United States. It was first launched in 1950 as a two-door station wagon and remained a two-door station wagon until 1951. In 1952, it started being a four-door station wagon. And these lines were introduced in 1979 in this very model, which is named the Panther Body, which the eighth generation of a Ford LTD Country Squire. It was produced in 1991 when it was discontinued. And from 1979 to 1991, we had some slight changes such as rails, bumpers, front ends, but the car was basically the same in all those years. It could be equipped with either a 302 or a 351. They were both Windsor V8 engines. With a 1 to 64 model car atop the 1 to 18 model car, we can notice the different opening option for a tailgate differently from this one that Given the car grade, I would give it an 8 from 0 to 10. It really could deserve a little bit more for being a station wagon, for being a different model car. But I really don't know why Greenlight has made that mistake with driver and passenger door mirrors. Driver's door has got a correct mirror for 1979 and 1980. And passenger's door has got the mirror for 1981 on, so it's a wrong mirror. I don't know why they made that mistake. That's an issue, since mirrors are completely different. One more issue is we have no opening hood and no opening rear doors which would be very desirable in large scale, such as a 1 to 18. Under carriage, that has a lot of room for improvement. On the other hand, painting, the realism, chrome pieces, wheels and tires, and details are very well refined and very well reproduced. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, that helps the channel a lot to share this video. And let me know down in your comments what you think about the car and about the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.